We never give up on new creations. Let's face it, here's another bead creation just for you, the stemming bracelet. The stem bracelet is different but also divine. It has a very unique appearance but also looks just fine. With sections that dangle from the wrist, it's a bead bracelet design you won't be able to resist. This project is great, of course, it's designed, it's fast, fun, and easy to make. So let's get ready for this tutorial to satisfy your creative needs. Feel free to give this video a like and enjoy this episode of Turbo Beats. Here's a list of everything you need to make the stemming bead bracelet. Before starting this project, I'm just letting you know that I'm using Dritz round elastic cord. It's an elastic string that works great for pony bead projects and other things. The string is nice and comes in a low price. With that being said, I'm just keeping you informed, letting you know this is a personal choice, not a sponsored video. To make the stemming bracelet, the first thing you'll need is 4 feet of string. Then, we're going to add our beads to the string using a particular order, in groups of three. We'll start out by adding two blue beads and a black bead on the end as accent bead, looking just like this. From here, we're going to add the next group of three beads to the string. We're going to add two pink beads, then we're going to add a black bead on the end. Again, this is exactly how it should look so far. From here, we'll continue adding the beads to the string in groups of three using the same pattern, alternating the blue and pink bead groups until we have just enough to create a single bracelet. Showing you the pattern once again, remember it's two blue beads with a black bead on the end, and then two pink beads with a black bead on the end. As I've said before, you'll continue adding these beads to the string using the same pattern until you have just enough to make a single bracelet that'll fit around the wrist. As you should know, all wrist sizes are different, so be sure to adjust accordingly, as you may need more or less beads depending on the size of the wrist or the size of the beads. Now that we have our beads on the string, this is what it should look like so far. From here, we're going to move those beads toward one end of that string and tie both ends of the string together, bringing everything together, creating a single bracelet. As you will see, tying the string in the knot is as easy as it seems. When tying your string, be sure that your knot is tied nice and secure, ensuring that everything stays locked into place and holds together. Now that our knot is tied, from here, we should have one long end of string and one short end of string to use. From here, we'll continue using the long end of string, adding beads to it to continue building on this bracelet. From here, we're going to create the dangling portions of this bracelet. So what we'll do is we'll take the long end of the string and we're going to add six beads to that string. Starting with five blue beads and a black bead on the end, looking just like this. Once you have those beads on the string, you're going to run them toward the top. Using that same end of string, you're going to run that string back through the first five beads on that string going back toward the main portion of the bracelet. Continue watching as I guide the string through these beads. As I said before, you're using that long end of string and running it back through the first five beads that were added to that string back toward the main portion of this bracelet. Once you have that string all the way through those beads, you're going to push those five beads toward the top, holding them down pulling that long in the string until that black bead on the end comes together with the others. As you can see, this is exactly how it should look so far. From here, we're going to take that long in the string and run it through the two pink beads here on the main portion of the bracelet. So just watch close as I guide the string through these beads. Once you get that string through those beads, you're going to pull that string all the way through and just enough to keep those beads in a tight formation. As you can see, this is how it should look so far. With the string through these two pink beads, we're set up for another dangling portion of this bracelet. Once again, we'll take that long end of string and we're going to add six beads to that string. This time, we're going to add five pink beads, followed by a black bead on the end, looking just like this. Once you have those beads on the string, you'll run those beads toward the top. Using that same end of string, you're going to run that string through the first five beads that were added to the string. Again, that's the pink beads you see here. Continue watching as I guide the string through these beads. Once you get that string through those beads, you're going to push those beads toward the top, 
holding him down, pulling that string all the way through until that black bead on the end comes together with the other beads. Be sure that you pull that string just enough, keeping those beads in a tight formation. Using that same end of string, you're going to run that string through the next two blue beads on that bracelet. Pull that string all the way through, again, just enough, keeping those beads in a tight formation. This is exactly how it should look. With that string through these two beads, we're ready to add another dangling portion of this bracelet. Just like we've done before, we're going to take our string and we're going to add five blue beads with one black bead on the end. With those beads on the string, we'll run them toward the top. Again, using that same end of string, we're going to run that string to the first five blue beads that were added to the string toward the main portion of the bracelet. Continue watching as I guide the string through these beads. Once you get that string through those beads, be sure to push those beads toward the top, holding them down, pulling that string all the way through until the black bead comes together with the other beads. As I've said before, be sure that you pull that string just enough to keep those beads in a tight formation. From here, we'll do as we've done before by taking the string and running it through the next two pink beads on this bracelet. Continue watching as I guide the string through these beads. When you get that string through those beads, again, you'll pull that string all the way through and just enough keeping those beads in a tight formation. As you can see, this is how it should look so far, and we've completed another dangling portion of this bracelet. At this point, we'll continue repeating the same steps, creating dangling portions around the bracelet. Again, we've added six beads on the string, taking that string and running it through the first five beads that were added to that string, pushing those beads all the way to the top, holding them down, pulling that string all the way through until the black bead on the end comes together with the other beads. Then we'll take that string and run it through the next two color beads on that bracelet. Again, you get that string all the way through those beads, pulling it all the way through until the beads come together, keeping them in a tight formation. So just continue repeating these steps, creating the dangling portions until you've gone all the way around the bracelet. I'll let the majority of the steps play out so that you can see how this bracelet is assembled without feeling like you've missed any steps. As you can see, assembling this bracelet is as easy as it seems, with its simple steps that repeat all the way around the bracelet. As a side note, let me be sure to mention that the main portion of this bracelet, which we would call the single, is a total of 30 beads. But as you already know, everyone's wrist sizes are different, so be sure to adjust accordingly, as you may need more or less beads depending on the size of the wrist or the size of the beads. Hopefully, with this visual, it has made it easier to understand how this bracelet is assembled, as I've only used a few colors for this one to help make it clear of where the string goes through next. With a simplistic color scheme like this, I believe it's a great color scheme to use. But, of course, you're always able to use the color scheme of your choice. So leave a comment below and let me know what cool color combinations you come up with to use to make your bracelet. Okay, let's jump ahead to the point of the bracelet where we have one dangling portion left to create. As you can see, we've gone all the way around the bracelet and ready to create this final section. Just like we've done before, we're going to take that string and we're going to add those six beads on that string. Using that same end of string, we're going to run that string back through the first five beads that were added to that string. Again, once you get that string all the way through those beads, you're going to do as you've done before by taking those beads, pushing them toward the top, pulling that string all the way through until that black bead on the end comes together with the other beads. As I've mentioned before, be sure to pull that string just enough, keeping those beads in a tight formation. Now that you have that string through those beads, you're going to skip that black bead and go through the next two blue beads on that string as you see it here. Continue watching as I guide the string through these beads. Once you get that string through those beads, you'll pull that string all the way through. With that string all the way through those beads, you'll see that we've reached the starting point of where we tied the original knot. From here, we'll have two ends of string. You'll tie both ends of string together with a square knot. When tying your string together, be sure that your knot is solid and secure, ensuring that everything stays together. As you can see, tying the string and the knot is as easy as it seems. So once you have your knot tied, and all of those beads are locked into place, all that is left is to carefully cut off the tied loose ends of string, and your stemming bead bracelet is now complete. And there you have it, another divine bead bracelet design that looks fine that was fun to make. 
Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and you can create one just as great. If there's anything you would like to add, request or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you are new or you just haven't already, don't forget that you can always subscribe if you want to be notified for more bee tutorials just like this one. Hoping you'll tune in for the next one to satisfy your creative needs. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching TurboBeats.